स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स जनरल साइंस चैप्टर वन नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर वॉटर एंड लैंड ऑब्जर्व ऑब्जर्व द पिक्चर अलॉन्ग साइड एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वेयर डू वी सी द बर्ड्स सेकेंड वेयर इज द काउ ग्रेजिंग थर्ड locate the trees and the road fourth where does the river come from how does it flow fifth where is the aeroplane sixth where are the fish seen seven on what is the sailboat floating natural resources you can see that some things in the picture are in water some on land and some in the sky that is in the air thus all things on the earth are associated with air water and land air water and land are called the earth's atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere respectively moreover different living things occupy these three spheres of the earth these living things and the parts of the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere which they occupy are together called the biosphere these spheres have formed on the earth naturally the atmosphere is the layer of air that surrounds the earth the surface of the earth comprises water and land that is the hydrosphere and lithosphere of this the hydrosphere occupies a much larger part than the lithosphere figure shows the proportion of land and water on the earth surface we also look upon these natural components in solid liquid and gaseous form as resources in other words we use them to fulfill our requirements air water and land are the factors important for sustaining the living world on the earth and for fulfilling their basic needs they are called natural resources can you recall what are the five layers of the atmosphere the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and exosphere are the five layers of atmosphere